Hey guys, Ryan here with Real Ventures. Meeting up with Matt Shura. He's got the new rig all wrapped. We're gonna head out on this little mini tour. Just loaded my stuff into the motorhome because we're gonna be on the road for a couple days. Not in the right spot if you're not getting there's a bite. See if he eats it. You gotta let him eat these big worms. He's just thumping on it. Didn't eat it. See if he ate it. Might be swimming towards me now. Got bit. Another bite. Might be bluegills. Everybody has a nick. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, it's a monster. On the drop? Oh my gosh. I hope it stays on. Stay down. Man. Remember when I said they were small, the fish that were chasing shad? Yeah. I was serious about that. <laughs> Can we grill that up? Uh, yeah. Sushi? Wow. That's beautiful. Hold it, hold it, uh, <laughs> hold it close to the camera. I saw those fish, those, those little ones were chasing shad, so. That looks about right. Yeah, to what we saw chasing. So it's good to see that size class of fish, though. Uh, those are just, you know, spawn, spawners from this year. So that's a good, good sign. This lake's been full of bait, shad everywhere. And that's the frustrating part is these shad are, you know, just being comfortable and, and scattered all around. You can see the shad and there's nothing chasing them. So it's good to see a little bit of fish starting to chase. They're real small, but hopefully the big ones start eating soon. All right. So this bait, you want it just to wake under the surface. So you want it to actually make a wake. That wake is very appealing. When the shad are congregated, they're in groups and they're comfortable. But when the you know fish come up or predators come up, whether it's yellow bass or largemouth, smallmouth, whatever they are, it disperses those shad and they're, they get away from that comfortable little cloud of shad they're in. Yeah. And every once in a while, those single fish, single shad, scurry off and they're by themselves so instead of the bass having to target hundreds of fish they can target one that's why this bait's so special oh right there where oh he got him no he chased it <laughs> he swirled on it yeah he nibbled on the tail and that was it yeah what about a small one 
We know there's some fish there. Caught some giants here. <laughs> nice cast. Giants. Uh, we weighed an eight pounder in a tournament on top water. Really? Yeah. Like our second cast, one of the night tournaments, we came right here and I had one probably just that big. I broke off in a championship tournament years ago, an all-star championship tournament. If I would've got that fish in, I probably wouldn't have won a boat, but it tried to swim back inside the tires and ended up uh, spitting the hook. Came back out at me and jumped up and spit the hook. So these fish have this structure where they feel safe. You know, you got the, the shade and the, the structure. In the wintertime, these darker tires, they warm up and they'll hang right around them. But And they're hanging out at the top, huh? Well. Or they see it and they come up anyway. No, it's just shade. They can just sit underneath them and there's, there's shade underneath them. That's the whole key. <laughs> Little fish. You got them? Little one, no, I had a bite. Oh, there it is. <laughs> came back. <laughs> <laughs> is he little? Yeah, no. he's a little fish. But it's a fish. <laughs> That's not that little. He I, missed it the first time. I mean, after looking at the other one you got. <laughs> it's a giant there. You know what? It's a fish. That's actually a tournament keeper. Yeah. I'll take it. He missed it the first time. Look at that. He ate the paddle. <laughs> he ate <laughs> the paddle. I missed him. Yeah, the, that's why I missed him. He didn't eat the whole bait. Paddle ate the paddle and then came back and ate it. Or there was multiple fish. Oh, oh. <laughs> he missed one. <laughs> <laughs> well, boys and girls, it's been rough, hasn't it? <laughs> There's a bite. Let me see. See if he eats it. Did he eat it? Eat it. Got him. Nice. Golly. Is it good? I think so, yeah. He was up on top of it. Yeah, that's a good fish. You want me to get the net? No, I'll lip him. That's a good fish. That is. That's a good fish. Man, came here three or four different times in the night tournaments. Couldn't get bit. <laughs> you want me to get the net? No, I'll lip him. All right. See if he comes up. It's pulling good. Yeah, that's a good fish. That's a good one there. Man, that's on one. <laughs> Better late than never, huh? Just the lightest little bite. Whoa. I don't know how big he was. He was pulling. Started pulling real heavy all of a sudden when he jumped, he looked like a three or four pounder. Oh, that's bigger now, isn't it? Nope. Just Ooh. a healthy fish. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, let me get in the driver's seat there. Oh, that's a good fish. Yeah, it is. <laughs> wow, nice catch. Nice, nice catch. <laughs> Jeez, Woo! that's a giant. <laughs> what do you think it weighs? <laughs> wow. That's a good one. We'll, we'll put them on the scale. I'm guessing it's four and a half, five. Hooked on the lower lip. That's weird. Jeez. Beautiful Four fish. Four or five? I think you're smoking something. That thing's six. <sighs> that thing's six. Baits down its mouth. Ten, Ten inch, inch power. Ten inch power worm. Nice fish. Yeah. I guarantee, I bet you that's. Ah, it's a five pounder. You think? I that looks like. a lot bigger, dude, than my four. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. If I'm right. Yo, oh, almost six and this scale weighs light. <laughs> Beautiful fish.